Oh, I can change the ISO with my wheel. Amazing. Shutter speed, aperture. Oh my Gucci. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day to do some more bike testing. Let's go inside. No, wait, let's go outside so I can enjoy this weather. I have to explain a little bit about Ohm's law. That's the law that talks about the relationship between voltage, current and resistance. Let me get you a little bit closer. This is how I understood Ohm's law the best. There is a voltage, ah! there is a resistance and there is current. The voltage pushes the current through the resistance of the circuit. And if I want to increase the power of the circuit, I can either reduce the resistance or increase the voltage. What happened last time is that I could only generate around 60 volts because that was the sort of limit of how fast I could cycle. And at 60 volts I could only push a certain amount of amps through the system. So the power draw of the system was sort of limited by how fast I could cycle. Does it make sense? So I had this bunch of lamps beep, beep, beep. at 60 volts. I could push around seven amps through these. So what I want to do is increase the input voltage so I can push more amps through. So the power of the whole system, the power draw of the whole system increases. It works, bitches. To do this, I'm going to put the generators in series. So generator one, generator two, and then the positive terminal of generator one is going to be connected to the positive terminal of the system. The negative to the positive terminal of the second generator and the negative terminal of the second generator is going to the negative terminal of the system. So that would make these generators able to generate around 120 volts. When the voltage goes up, the amps also go up and I have to cycle even harder. So we'll, we can see how powerful I actually am and how much power I can actually generate instead of being limited by just the speed. Make sense? Let's build it. I have the, the series connector here that connects the positive, negative, negative, positive, blah, 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 as I explained. Then we have the whole metering set up again and eight lamps parallel. Let's see if we can power this puppy. 25 volt 3 amps. The lamps are starting to glow. 50 volts, 4 amps, 4.5 amps. No, don't slip on me, please. Oh no! More tension on the chain or something? Okay, so at 50 volts, 4.5 amps, it starts to slip. <sighs> but I'm not at my limit yet. We'll have to fix the slippage. <sighs> this generator starts to slip at some point when I start cycling. As we say in Dutch, hoppatee. I don't know what I'm doing. Like this, so. Okay, 60 volts, 5 amps, 300 watts. Don't slip on me, please. No! Uh, 75 volts, 5.5 amps. One sec. <sighs> That's less than 420. Let's see if I can get to 420 again with the parallel cable. Whoosh. 65 volts, five amps. Let's get our friend, the water cooker back online. 63 volts, seven and a half amps. Back to series. It is much heavier now. I smell burnt rubber. This one is slipping a lot. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to try an air tire on the rear wheel. I'll show you. This is very little surface area to get all this friction from. So if I put an air tire on there, it should be much better. Then again, still the chain is slipping a bit, so I'm not sure what to do about that. Hmm. One thing at a time, air tire. If there is rain coming. Uh oh. So there is rain coming. Quickly put the wheel in, then pack my stuff and get inside. Oh, work. Yes, in. Oh. 
I don't know if you can see, but this nut here is colliding with the tire. So I'll have to fix that before I can do anything. But first, get the stuff inside. It's rainy right now. Get the camera inside. There we are, all safe and dry inside. I just found out that the width here is a little wider than here. So I'm just gonna switch this whole thing around and then it should fit. And it's on the right side now and uh, it fits. I'm kind of unhappy because there's a sort of bump in it. And that's gonna cause problems when I go faster. So I think I'm gonna change the whole system. I'll explain you what I did when I did it. Hello, what's my nuts? Here's my nuts. Almost. Oh, she. Hey, why are you breaking? Ah. Yeah. Maybe tight enough, maybe not. We'll see. Maybe I can pump this up a little bit more. Maybe we can do like this. Now it's tighter, yes or no? Maybe. Maybe here. Here. Two long screws. Not bad. I think so. Let me show you. What I did is I made a sort of two jet engines on the back of the bike with the generators. Now they're just sort of tensioned against the wheel. I can inflate the wheel a little bit more to increase the tension. So let's do some tests. See if the friction is enough or if I have to inflate the tire. See if the chain still slips. Let's get that going. Are we ready for this? Camera still rolling. Okay, amp meter, volt meter. The whole jizzle is on. Okay, so 4 amps, 40 volts, 60 volts, 5 amps. Oh, this is heavy! 80 volts, 5 and a half amps! Ah! Intense exposure, please. 440 watts. That's less than when I had them parallel. So let's put them parallel again, see what I can do. Come on. 72, 5.2. It's 370, 374.4. Damn. Wait, the water cooker wasn't engaged. Okay, new test with the water cooker. Seven and a half amps, 63 volts, 472. Let's put them back to cereal again. There's some rubber burning or something. Yes, there is. I have a fire extinguisher over there. I'm not happy yet. Let me inflate the tire, see if that helps. I want to pump my bicycle. More pressure. Right, next round. 70 volts, 8 amps! So that's a new record. 560 watts. Boy oh boy is that exhausting. There's a lot of energy lost in friction. So I think I'm gonna quickly put the generators back onto the aluminum rim again. And see if we can get an even better efficiency. Let's go. Okay, so now the tire is gone again. And the generators are on the side of the rim. Which should give them a little more surface area to have friction. So let's do some testing. We are in series right now. 8 amps, 70 volts. See if we can get to 9 amps. No, 8 and a half, 73. It's 620 watts. Oh! That's a lot. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. No wait, this episode isn't over yet. I spoke to my brother and he sort of recommended that I try the generators in parallel again because he said, because I'm using two bridge rectifiers on the generators, there might be some funny stuff going on. Uh, so he said, just put them parallel again, connect some more load and see if that helps uh, your power generation. So here I am again, found some more water cookers. So right now I have four water cookers and eight 500 watt lamps. Let's go. Connect everything back to parallel. Boop, 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 boop. Volt meter, amp meter, lights are connected. Whoa, I easily touched 10 amps right now and that's the maximum that my amp meter is rated for. And the voltage is at 36 right now. So I'm gonna disconnect one of the water cookers. Hmm. I can see how far I can push my meter. Just see when it blows up. Ah, 11 and a half at 47 volts. 540. 
Okay, well, I basically got around 600 watts maximum. I sort of went over the spec of my multimeter, but I got to 12 amps at 50 volts. So I didn't generate more power. It was a little bit easier to cycle, so maybe it's more efficient this way. And uh, I will have people cycle at a pace that they can sustain for like three or five minutes. So they probably won't be peaking at 600 watts. 600, I said six. So I think I got what I needed from all these experiments. I know now how much power I more or less will be generating or how much power other people will be generating. Um, so I know how to sort of design the rest of the installation. That's gonna be something for our next episode. This really was this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you subscribe for the next episodes and I hope to see you the next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye!